Breaking news, everybody. All right. Breaking news. D Wade's daughter, Zyra Away, Zaya Wade, she has been granted by the court of legal to change her name or his name, or whatever, and a legal transition. He's allowed to make the whole full transition now, even as a minor. The court has granted at the, you know, it's, it's going down. So here we are. You know, the court has granted access to a full transition. Here, here's my thing. Here's my here's my take on this. You know, and I get it. Life life is a mother. Life is hard, and we are trying to figure things out. And I will be the first person to say that. You know, we don't we have no idea the conversations that these rich and wealthy people be having or the rooms that they be in. We have we really have no idea. At the same time, we got to look at what's happening in the world. Now they're having individuals that have transitioned from whatever sex they were born into. You know, they've transitioned out of it. And now they are looking to transition back. This got to ring bells and sound alarms. How can somebody say, you know what? I was, God was wrong. If you asking a, a spiritual person like me, person that say, you know what, I'm changing my sex. You say God was wrong. And, th- and to me, that's blasphemous to my core. You say God was wrong. I'm going to change who he said I was supposed to be. And then you turn back around months or years later after uh, thousands of dollars worth of procedures, probably hundreds of thousands of dollars and say, you know what? I thought I wanted to turn my weenie into a vagina, but now I'm going to turn it back out again. What are we doing? Seriously. I, I yeah, This is wild. So now this, this kid, this young man, under today's social construct, he can change himself into a damn jar of mayonnaise, I guess, if he sees fit. And, that, and I know that may sound weird, but understand. You can legally change your identification to mayonnaise. So I ain't even exaggerating on that. You can look that up. There's like over 72 registered sexes, and the jar of mayonnaise is one of them. Y'all, well, when I tell y'all people ain't taking us serious no more, I'm serious. They're not. You could be a jar of mayonnaise. You could be a cat, dog. You could be a hyphen. You could be an identifiable object. Look it up. And you can register this, and people, I guarantee you, you could go to some parts of San Francisco. And you go ahead and not call that jar of mayonnaise a jar of mayonnaise, and you'll be sued for thousands of dollars. <laughs> that is true. Like you said, straight like that. So, like you said, just want to get your take on it, Mike. Uh, if you got any take about the court granting access to name and full gender change with the D-Wade's daughter. Court says, okay, go ahead. Do what you want. Yeah, hey, uh, I started laughing because, Willie, you, you beat me to the point. I was like, I was going to touch on there. There's actually states that already passed the ruling in terms of the name change, man. Like, if you don't call these motherfuckers by jar of mayonnaise, I can lose my motherfucking job over that shit, man. That is the most craziest shit ever, man. Like, it is absolutely baffling to me, man. It's like, man, we are living in a fucking twilight zone, man. And it's, it's crazy to me. Like, the psychology behind the thinking, right? And to have parents, again, I'm not going to get into Dwayne Wade parenting situation because i don't know the upbringing and shit like that but i just from from what i see the shit's soft it's soft as hell man it's soft yeah. as hell and for me from a man right it's just there's no there was no structure there there is no guidance there you know what i'm saying because a man who has a c especially a boy don't want his don't want his boy becoming a girl dog like that's, on, that's always an l you might that's, that's always the l a straight right. up come yeah i i know i may sound foolish for saying this but please have some compassion for the straight man and that strong y chromosome and his testosterone it is an l for a straight man to have a son and that son say you know what i like boys obviously i've never been in that situation and and blessings and mercy to anyone that has been but man that is just an l that's an i because when you come into your into your uh, manhood, I don't, I can't help you. I don't know what to tell. I can't tell you how to talk to no dude. I ain't gonna do it. I still love you, care for you. <laughs> you know, don't want no harm come to you. Ain't gonna shun you. Ain't gonna abandon you. Ain't gonna show you no hate. At the same time, there's gonna be a disconnect. 
because you can't come in here and tell me, you know, what you was doing with your boyfriend. You can't tell me what what concerns you got, but you can tell me about all concerns you got with your girlfriend and stuff like that. I can help you there. You understand? So we can't act like when so, already. So my man PC PC seventy six said he would have went old testament and whipped it out of him. Is that out there, Mister Walker? <laughs> See, hey, hey! Somebody made a TikTok about this. They said, "Look, if we were to put the whippings on our kids that we received, we'll be up under Guantanamo Bay in no time." Hell man, yeah. please, just can't do it. Can't do it. It ain't the same. We all know our grandma, uh, grandma, mama, whoever, auntie done whooped the, the voice out of our cry. We done been beat, woke up with lashes, all that. Can't do it. You simply can't do it. Because want to know why? A lot. You know what? I hate to do it. But a lot of this stuff is systematic. It is. Whether it's the food, the hormones. As, as American people, we fight against a lot of evils. The, the stuff and uh, so I want to say a lot of stuff ain't our fault, but it's our responsibility. I don't know why this stuff is happening, but it, it just is what it is, man. And it's bad, but no, you can't beat the kids. You can't. You go to jail. We need y'all free. Don't go to jail. <laughs> yeah, man. It's 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 again. It's psychological, man. Um, and then for Wade, for the way for the way, man, to, to to have those conversations. To what you touched on, Willie. I mean, I know deep down inside, he like, yo, what the fuck, yo? You know what I'm saying? That when his when his son daughter get older, he talking about, hey, dad, I'm dating this man and shit, and asking them some very sensitive questions about mm-hmm. sex or especially when it comes to marriage and shit. You kind of like, yo, I ain't even trying to dip into that one, man. God damn, yo. Like, well, well, here we go. We if <laughs> I don't want to say we all know, but. For the most part, we're kind of aware of the kind of masculine dominant woman that Gabrielle Union is. All right. Yeah. So, you know what, Mike? I want to say, you know, brother like D Wade may not necessarily have given so much pushback because that woman there, if you look, she's been typecasted. And I want to believe, I believe in all of her shows and movies, that's who she is. And I want to say he didn't give much pushback. And that is the burden. Of a man, we must be disagreeable for safety. So you come yeah. with something that's not gonna. We can't prove it's gonna be beneficial to the group. We must say, hold up, we gotta talk about this, discuss this in detail. But I don't think Brother Wade is in any position to do that with his uh with his significant other there. I believe she wear the pants, and you know social media paints that to be true. So you know who am I say otherwise? So third out wide says his hands are tied. The kid made out his family business. See? Uh PC76 says this must start off in early in childhood. This is on the parents. You know, so we got a lot of polarizing opinions. Um, you know, they gotta do what they gotta do. These are rich folks. So <laughs> the problem is. The problem is there's regular people, poor people who's observing this and their mm-hmm. children and are trying to follow this path. And that's where it started getting dicey because unfortunately, D. Wade and his son it, or daughter, they're role models, whether they like it or not. And people, you know, look up to them for, mm-hmm. for whatever reason. So, you know. Because here we go. This is what, and I've said this before, this is what every modern woman wants. They want this mystical beta male provider that is D-Wade. That's what they beta. want. They want so that. Quick, Willie, let me pose this question to you. Third Eye Wise said his hands are tied, right? Mm-hmm. PC76 said he's a man. What you mean his hands are tied? You are the father. Well, there we go. She said his hands are tied because he may out family business. Something like, you know, he might say, all right, I can't get. Come on. These kids ain't got too much respect and honor and, and a strong moral compass. I, I feel you, uh, third eye. That uh, Zendaya, whatever it is, yeah. right? Hey. The, the child may say, well, if y'all don't do this, I'm going to tell the news, the media, that mommy be in you, Wade. Yeah. And yeah. and now Wade, like, well, I really don't want that to come out, so go ahead. Yeah. I feel it, you. It's, like, it's, 
this rich folks shit. Wow. Yeah. To, to go back to your point, the attack on masculinity, Willie. Yeah, his hands were tied now at this point. If, if D-Way would have caught that earlier, he would have had a chance. But this attack on masculinity, that's why you mm -hmm. see this shit with Andrew Tate and all the red pill content, right? Because mm -hmm. cats don't want to be held accountable and don't want – they'd rather live in, with comfort or, comforting lies than unpleasant truth right now. You, you know go. what I'm saying? But if D-Way would have caught that earlier, he would have had a chance. But now since we're in this PC culture – Everybody got their own pronoun. No, you you can do say whatever the fuck you want. You know what I mean? If he come out with some type of boundary on his daughter, son, whatever, man, that motherfucker about to lose business, man. And since oh, yeah. he's since he sits on the NBA Players Association, they might kick him off that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So talk about it. Yeah, he gonna, he gonna hurt his he's gonna hurt the business if he do that now. Now he got to play along to get along in a sense. You know what I'm saying? But. You know, so, any man so like, is he any, sacrificing his son? Is that what we're saying? It's a sacrifice, a human sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Conspiracy theorists would would probably uh, lean that way, but no stuff like this. If I can be try to be more understanding, less critical, as I said before, a lot of these things I don't think you know necess necessarily our fault. We dealing with a lot of factors here. You know, as far as you know. How did this come to be? How did this little boy say I want to be a girl? We all know that we're dealing with heightened levels of soy and lower and historically lower levels of testosterone. Amen. Yep. These these are, levels, yep. these and, are and a and a bitter baby mama. Yeah. So I think that's the woman you see here. I don't think that's Gabrielle Union. I think that's the child's mom. And okay. All right. So D Wade got custody of both of his kids, True. and when he did. There was a payment settled. So he gave this woman, you know, two, three, whatever millions of dollars. And he got the kids and they went, they, that was a split. She got severance. Then she blew the money. She was living on the streets, homeless, crying, talking about D-Wade ain't helping her. Maybe people are saying she was planting this bug in this baby's ear, trying to turn the kid the whole time. So, you know what? It's, it's possible. You know, we've talked about this and it's just a grim reality these some when these, some of these relationships fail and and couples can't co-parent and ain't just rich folks we is known that the the bitter baby mom will purposely persuade the little boy towards you know homosexuality to spite that straight father this is known the uh there's a case in texas where there there's a man from texas and he's trying to stop his ex-wife from doing the same thing and it's and it's noted that she, she most likely doing it out of spite like you left me you hurt me to hell with this being my kid i'm gonna turn your son into a girl see how you like that because like i said to a straight man there's no way you could chop that up that's an l straight straight l man hey, straight like that so there we go uh like third out wise is saying the kids learning leaning more into Gabrielle in the picture. I'm sure D Wade was left out of a lot of conversations. I'm sure between Gabrielle and his mom, they were encouraging whatever he wanted to do and was probably um not only, you know, I mean accepting and encouraging it, but they were coming up with some of these ideas, maybe. Who knows? There you go. You know, that's another world that we ain't living in a lot of money and stuff. And huh. I tell you what, as third eye, as PC said, I could care less. <laughs> you know, I'm going to I'm going to lose funds to get my family right, is which is my goal, or am I wrong? No, you got You got to have some type of moral grounding. And as you said, Gav, you know this uh, weight was left out of a lot of conversations. And one thing we're learning by the content that we share. You know, we may think these situations be grim, but they be even more grim. You catch uh, Gabrielle and the other baby mama alone. They talk, have conversations, chopping up, having some wine. Them two end up messing around with each other. They all wild like that. Ain't many lines that don't they don't cross. So if you ask me, Gabrielle done slept with the baby mama before. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, what's it got to say? I wanted to put a disclaimer on now. I want people running with that. Yeah, Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. That's that's what my crazy self That is Mr. Walker's thoughts, all right? That's all, people. Don't get upset. The probability yeah, man, is high. Very high. 
So here we are tonight.